In this video, we will guide you step by step on how to install the 75 flow sliding door system with a standard sliding door. Before installing the sliding door, make sure that the wall and the floor around the doorway area are straight. At the same time, make sure that there are support beams inside the wall so that the wall brackets can be firmly attached to the wall. To find out where the support beams are located inside the wall, you can use a wall scanner. Measure and mark the fixing height of the track. The height of the wall bracket screw holes are calculated as follows. Door height plus 85 millimeters. This leaves a 12 millimeter gap between the floor and the door. You can lower the door by approximately 7 millimeters with the hanger bolts after installation. Once you have marked the location for one screw hole, use a level and draw a horizontal line on the wall along the entire width of the track. Now you have marked the horizontal locations of the fixing screws for all the wall brackets. Slide the wall brackets onto the track by pushing the bracket lightly so that it can slide straight along the groove. Mount the wall brackets with the track attached to the wall and tighten the clamping screws onto the wall brackets. If you are working alone, first tighten the center bracket to the wall with one screw so that you can easily keep the track in place when installing the other wall brackets. Make sure that the trigger of the soft close unit is activated. Slide the hardware into the track. When inserting from the left, the parts are fitted in the following order. 1. Soft Stop SS75 2. Hanger MP75 3. Soft Close OH75 4. Setup Pin Attach the plates to the door approximately one-fifth of the door's width from the edge so that the slots of the bolts face the wall. If you install soft closes mechanisms at both ends, fix the door plates so that the soft closer mechanisms fit inside the track. Lift the door into its place. Adjust the height and position of the door by turning the hanger bolts. Tighten the nuts onto the door plates. Install the bottom guide. Place and mark the position of the bottom guide so that it is completely hidden when the door is at the open position. Slide the door out of the way and screw the bottom guide to the floor. The bottom guide should remain in the guiding groove throughout the entire movement of the door. If you are unable to install the bottom guide on the floor, you can use a wall fixing bottom guide option. Position the setup pin within the track to the approximate area you would like the door to stop. Tighten the screws with a moderate torque. Tighten the soft stop into its place. Move the track stop to where you want the door to stop and tighten. Check that the door stops at the correct position and adjust the location of the setup pin if necessary.